Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kenga Nyama, popularly known as KM Stalin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyway, today's Friday. Um, I think I'm gonna do a weekend vlog. If not a weekend vlog, I'm gonna do like a day in my life Friday type vlog. It's just gonna depend on the amount of things that I am able to vlog today. So today I'm going out for lunch with my friend Tuto. If you are a uh, regular here, she's calling. Hello, babe. Hello. Babe. I'm leaving there. I'm leaving as well. Okay, sharp. Sharp. Bye. Oh, the geyser is off. This morning, I literally was tripping so much because I kept asking myself why the geyser, the water is cold. Mm -hmm. Whew. God damn. One thing about me, I need to wash my car. It's not that it's dirty. It's just um, I had Red Bull in the car the last time and I It spilled everywhere and yeah, I need to wash it. But anyway, see you soon, okay? Got to Jameli and Everything looks different. I've literally never seen this place Because Jamelli used to get so packed so this really makes a lot of sense Hey, what's happening? Hey. Friend, this makes so much sense. Hey, Jamelli used to get packed, hey Yo, oh, this is so nice, guys Thank you, darling yeah. This is the Italian apple. If you ever come to Jamelli, please order the Italian apple And ask to be served by Nkosi, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to see it. What did you film? I'm just talking about my car. I have vlogged though, but like I just felt like I was all over the place. So you're gonna do like a story, like yes, of how everything happened. Oh, Sam Joanna, what is this, honey? What is this? Did you when you say what is this, honey? I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid. Get a nice boomerang. Of course, darling. Mm. Did you get me? I know that's right. <laughs> Nobody understood where I've been. I guess I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense. So I then you and you but I so you look at your lips, darling oh. guys look at how cute the dust car is drop safe babes complex she just came to drop off her car and then we're gonna go somewhere and smoke shisha darling because honestly why would i leave my house to go to a restaurant to eat and not smoke shisha make it make sense it doesn't make sense hey i'm joking but no it really doesn't so we're just gonna go and find somewhere to smoke some hubbly but guys i'm so hacked to those complex has the bumps right like the speed humps are so high like i heard my car go Goop. And I, I don't know what it was and I'm just like devastated right now because what if it was something important but I hope not friend these bumps are the ghetto I bumped my friend, car the other day I was so mad friend I'm so sad I'm just like <laughs> the way I heard friend mine too I think it was the second one I was just like you know what when I'm driving here I'm just driving my you bring me the things that I asked you yes babe Friend, this hair can't come and kill me here. You're gonna tie it back. I'm gonna tie like half of it back. But you're giving me a blue ribbon, yeah. And the black one. It's alright, it's fine. I can't. Friend, it's really not a big deal, Shem. It's for real, see Shem. But why would you have blue ribbons? <laughs> Friend, it's so iffy. Yo, uh, uh, this honey, guys, she needs to be arrested. 
friend i cannot believe i, I cannot believe it it's like what guys this ribbon hey it's, it's so really blue hey <laughs> ah! so where do you gonna go friend bold ne? Mm, what else? Are you gonna Uber back? Because no, I can't come here again. Yo, I knew you were so gonna far. complain. Yo, it's so far off. And you see how far it is. And you and they want me to be taking an Uber like I'm mad. Where? Like in ge in general, like <laughs> going around jobs. It is Shem. Show yourself now. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Guys, my friend's car. She makes me feel like I'm so small. Compared to my car, yeah. Imagine. When I was driving behind her, I was like, look at this babe. With Imagine. Her car. That time, Hello, I'm, Dala, Mina. Oh. I'm two years older than you. So in two years time, you're gonna be getting your second car, and it's gonna be like a, a like an Audi, an Audi or a Merc or a BM. Yes, girl. Be like no, that. but she's right though. Because mm. you also had a smaller car, friend. I when had you a smaller car. Twenty-four, mm. ne? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, are going. Who right. texting? My friend, I don't have any man to text like that. <laughs> so boring yeah like it's literally so boring chill don't lie where do we find men like i know that's right i know that's <laughs> right your friend the way the way i need to put a number plate hey? yeah me too Fen, did you go and get it done no and you have 21 days do you know that you've had your car longer than that friend is it 21 days and isn't it a month yeah which is almost 21 days Friend, if it's 21 days, I'm definitely exceeded because I, I got my car on the 22nd of May uh, of April. Yeah, friend, the police are gonna start giving you problems, eh? Friend, I'm gonna tell them, yo, it's my boyfriend's car. I don't know what he did. Ah! I'm gonna be like, um, oh. friend, with them lies, I trust you. Friend, I'm gonna be like, yo, it's my man's car. I don't know, like, I keep telling him, and the cops keep stopping me, and I, nah, I don't know. What you and I'm so sorry. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Can you please play this other song? Which one? Yikes. I can't really say who is it by, but... Why? <laughs> it's just a nice song. <laughs> it came out today, so it's just been playing in my head. Wait, is it really now. nice or is it because you like the person? You're wrong. But it's a nice song though, friend. I... It's a nice Mm, friend, I'm going to be driving in sports mode, so put your seatbelt on and buckle up. Friend, you drive fast, hey? <laughs> hey, guys! Like, when we were driving, yeah, I'm just like this girl. Actually, like, I'm like, I'm like, hey, this girl, should I get me to travel? Can't you see I have a learner sticker on my car? Okay. No. Don't listen to the heart. So, y'all, guys, I'm here at Chris's house, hey? We were just chilling there at um, the Vegas house, which is like this really, really cool, really, really cool creative uh, agency. Yeah, yeah, and honestly, like amazing stuff. You guys need to see it. But anyway, look who I found there. <laughs> Tell them you are alive. Guys, I'm here. I'm alive. I've just been so busy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Sorry, let me put it on my grill. <laughs> 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 um, I'm around, guys. I'm alive. Uh, OR didn't replace me. <laughs> Tell them I mean, how I'm OR. Just, you guys hold yeah. different positions. Yeah. And OR. OR is also he's he's our nigga and he's, huge. Yeah. Huge. So it's not a competition thing. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Uh, you guys don't need to worry. I'm here. I've just been busy, and uh, I'm finally around. Large. <laughs> Big shout out to Tuto for holding the flash for us. So we stay looking cute. Really? Always. Thanks, sis. <laughs> Guys, so we're going to Sukasa. I don't think that I'm going to be able to vlog that because <laughs> child, it kind of gets so busy in there. Yeah, hey. Yeah, but just take a big vlog. Go ahead. take a Jäger shot switch. We're taking Jäger shots now. Lodge. Absolutely um, not. Come, come. No, 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 no,
a friend i think kind of yeah so it's kind of like a date vibes but yeah anyway i yeah anyway i'm gonna take you guys along i look kind of cute it's a bit hot but it's cold so that's why i'm wearing a trench because i know jerobic weather jerobic weather it looks hot but it's actually really cold so i'm gonna go out right now and yeah um we'll see what we get up to today it's about 12 28 right now so yeah it took me the whole morning to recover have breakfast have my smoothie have my coffee um shower get ready and stuff but yeah feeling good excited about today catch up with you hey guys good morning it's a sunday and i am out here being wholesome i'm just looking at my background to see how messy it is in this house i feel like i haven't been here all weekend but um not really well <laughs> i didn't sleep here last night <laughs> but you know like nothing hectic i was just at a friend's place because after lunch we went back to their place and we were just chilling and then um actually later on we decided to go to black dome which was actually chill like it wasn't as crazy as i thought guys i've learned what the secret is when you're out and you want to be fine don't take shots because shots are where everything goes south so again i was on my declining shot session today i'm just gonna do a little bit of self-care maybe um my skin doesn't look too bad but i think i'm gonna mask it i'm gonna exfoliate and then i'm probably gonna um, Obviously, I'm making breakfast now. I'm gonna make some oats, have a smoothie, have some coffee. I'm actually like the most consistent one, or I, I like, I really, really like to maintain consistency when I start doing something. Oh, except for gym, I feel, <laughs> I feel like I'm lying. Damn. Okay, gym is kind of hard. Okay, but I was actually gonna make like a proper break breakfast because I'm just like oats. I have oats every day, but I actually like genuinely like enjoy oats like I really enjoy oats um so yeah <laughs> these uh, seven chakra inc incense sticks from a shop in where's this place called it's in it's next to four ways the place is called broad acres yeah it's in broad acres right and i thought it was like one stick you know that has like oh guys my hand is so I should divine so i thought it was like like a couple of sticks but turns out they have like different like chakra sticks so depending on, on like how you're um, feeling and you know how you want to connect then this is great I'm gonna, by virtue of lighting these I'm just going to open up like my crown chakra not that I feel like it's blocked or anything I actually feel quite um, centered and grounded if you're like not interested in this stuff just scroll past because you probably won't even understand but anyway I just thought I should plug you if you're like a spiritual base. So I have this candle which I got from the same shop. It's an Archangel candle and it's for the Archangel Zadkiel. Um and basically he's your angel that brings you comfort, forgiveness and transformation. This is part of my self-care routine, so yeah. <laughs> So this is a bit like TMI if you are not into like period talk or if you're a guy watching, I'm so sorry. But I have to put you guys on to these pads. Okay, they kind of open. <laughs> so it's these um, always um, pads. They're the premium like range from always. And they're super thin. Like I've used always like my whole entire life. And um, I had a problem with the other pads because they would really, really like irritate me down there because of the, the the texture. And this one is a more softer like texture. It feels really, really good. It's really comfortable. And you know, this is 
got some length to this is just the long but they do have um extra long if you like into extra long like pads but these are great guys like no leaks like really really great and um really comfortable they are a bit pricey but honestly i've never had to look for different pads like since i found these this is what i know and what i'm sticking to and i have a million guys if i tell you <laughs> i keep a million pads at a time it's so embarrassing but i have a lot you know i hate running out of pads it's, it makes me feel weird so i have pads everywhere in all my bags in my car in my and like it's not like i get spontaneous periods like my period is so regular but i'm just like what if somebody needs a pad yeah i also heard like when you're on your period it's sort of like the best time to manifest i don't know if it's because you're like vibrating higher or you're like i don't know what it is but anyway apparently that's like the best time to manifest i believe in toner like if there's one thing that i believe in it's a toner like i love toners um i'm using the eucerin Derma purifier oil control toner i usually use the um olay one but um yeah I, I find this really really works as well for me because in the shower i have the user and face wash and then i'll just use this toner if i'm gonna wash my face in the shower but generally i actually asked this on my instagram like i asked i asked people like do you do your face before or after you shower and someone was like during and i'm like oh shucks that's a real thing sometimes i do that but if i'm trying to like get into my skincare like routine then i will do it after because i find like when you get into the shower all of that steam sort of opens up your pores and then like after you shower you can go in with like your exfoliating wash which i have a really great one that i use so i have a really great one that i use this is dermaplex um triple action cleanser wash i don't use this every day because i find that it's a bit like abrasive sometimes and i don't feel like i need to exfoliate my my face every day but i do have a chemical exfoliant as well like i have so many face products like i've got so many face products and i use each and every single one of them i feel like all of them work because i honestly have this logical explanation as to why i'd use this cleanser i don't use this every day i'm just using this now because i have had like a hectic weekend of you know being out of the house drinking alcohol wearing makeup that type of stuff so i'm going to um just exfoliate some more black i'm going to use this for like two or three days then i'm going to put it away and then this is my daily like face wash it's from sensei and it's a purifying gel and honestly sensei products are so good they're so good but they're a bit pricey but they're really really good and um i really like them and then i have <laughs> get into a chair i'm probably gonna do a skincare video because i could go on and on very very quickly i'm gonna put in um a hyaluronic acid serum which is like these white ones i have all of these capsules mixed up in here because i don't have like having little bottles everywhere so i just put them all in here so and then i'm gonna go in with my sensei um essence daily veil this is my daily moisturizer i really like it because it doesn't feel greasy on your skin but it also feels very moisturizing and it has an spf of 30 on it so if i'm at home not really going anywhere not really like you know then i'll use this because it does have a good enough spf and then i have this eye cream this is a tester right so i was at chanel and um i was looking for an eye cream because apparently they have really great eye creams but I wasn't like ready to part ways with 3.5 for an eye cream like I felt like I don't know enough about it for me to um, part with 3.5 so I said to myself okay you know I think I'm gonna like watch more videos on it on YouTube see if it's like worth getting and then um, the guy was like kind enough to sort of decanter like a, a, a bit of it for me to try at home so um yeah i'm really i'm really excited about that and i actually really like it so far so i may just go back and get it because you know i've been seeing like wrinkles under my eye and i find that you know 
damn i, I don't want to get those wrinkles <laughs> i really don't want to get like wrinkled up it's not something that i'm thinking about like that but i mean you know it's it's it is a concern it is moisturized guys my nails are so good if you see them <sighs> so embarrassing but anyway right now and then I'm gonna have some CBD gummies guys this stuff is so amazing like if you just wanna relax and just chill out it is the girl I got these from a shop in Sanson like a little store in Sanson and they have CBD in them but then because I like suffer from like anxiety and um what i've been on for the past like few months is this um cbd oil and it helps you just relax guys i probably <laughs> okay but it's got like 600 milligrams of cbd and honestly it will make you relax like everything could be going wrong and you can just be like sitting there like okay okay so yeah i really liked this it's quite pricey but it's worth it in my opinion and it lasts a while i mean i've only bought one i don't use it every day but like every other day or just when i'm feeling like anxious because it works pretty fast as well so yeah and then i got these cbd gummies guys these cbd gummies have thc in them so like if you are not prepared to be like high then i don't recommend because yeah but like i don't take these like every day only when um i have some time to go and I'm not really trying to do anything because then is on the go visa so i just have these really like them um these are about 200 rand for 15. it's a lot oh i bought them for me though so didn't really pay for them and this is about um 700 rand for um how, how big is this 30 moles but it really lasts and it's really worth it like for real it's really worth it if you like need it then i suggest anyway i'm gonna go back to bed make sure that my door is locked and my geezer is turned off and i'm gonna have some breakfast right now let me switch off this candle i'm gonna have some breakfast maybe watch a sermon or um series and then i'm gonna nap um make sure that i am fully rested for the new week prepared and yeah that's pretty much how my sunday is gonna go i might cook later on like i might make some dinner but I doubt it because I actually have um, some pizza from a takeaway yesterday so I might just have that instead but yeah guys I just came on here to say I cannot believe how unattractive granny panties are like when they show on your on your tights like for gym ah! like I could literally scream and now and this is exactly why I stopped going to gym last week because I started my period and I'm just like, oh no, honey, not that granny panty line. Like, mm, mm, it's not cute. It's not cute. So anyway, I think I'm gonna take off this jacket and I'm gonna put it um, just around my way, <laughs> around my waist. Damn, I hate periods. I hate granny panties. I hate everything. Like granny panties are so ghetto. Like, and this whole weekend I've had to wear like really like oversized stuff or, or like if i'm wearing like tight pants and i wear like a trench coat or a large jacket because i'm just like ain't nobody i ain't enjoying it nobody see that granny line like for real like for real but anyway um today's a monday i hope everyone has a smashing week i really hope you see this video today on monday because then like you know but i mean even if you see it tomorrow i mean even if you see it tomorrow i still hope you have a smashing week even if you see it next week have a smashing week. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.